Hello? Yes. 1263. Yeah, I just want to see how much I have in my savings account. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll wait. I'm just checking to see <laughs> how much money I got saved up so far. Uh-huh. Wow. How much? $2.38. I couldn't even say it. I mean, are you serious? Well, there, there must be a mix-up. How much is in my checkings? $1.03. So, basically, I don't have even $4 in there. Uh-huh. Hey, Ross World, my money makes money, not even $1,000 in our accounts. Now, there were some reports that went out, and they've been coming out from late 2016, even as of today. Most of Americans do not have $1,000 saved up in their savings account, let alone $1,000 in their checkings account. And we've been harping on this for a long, long time about the four tiers of money. I'm just gonna keep mentioning it. That's my thing. I came up with it. Debt, saving, investing, and also budgeting. Budgeting is that amount of money that you can do primarily everything with in those other three sectors. Debt, you actually need money to get out of debt. So what are you allocating to get out of debt, first and foremost? Secondly, how much money are you allocating to save up? And once again, those high yield savings account and then lastly, those investments, okay? Those investments that you need. This is the problem. First of all, expenses, bills. What are we doing with our money not to have $1,000 in our savings account? What are we doing with our money spending it all away on very frivolous and meaningless things that we could actually be saving? So here's a challenge. Here's a challenge. I challenge each in every one of you, whether you're a subscriber or you're just someone who views my channel or you're just stumbling upon, remember that app, stumbling upon, <laughs> this video and you're trying to seek financial freedom, you're trying to seek some inventive ways, some, you know, some different types of ways that is going to help you to get out of debt, some ways that are going to help you to save some money. So, November... 18th, November 18th. By then, I'll be back in the U.S. and I'm going to be looking at, I'm going to be on the same time zone, maybe a couple of hours apart, depending on you, the East Coast or West Coast or Midwest. But nevertheless, November 18th, here's a challenge to you to at least have $1,000 in your savings account. And that doesn't mean like, oh, I just got paid. It's a thousand dollars in my savings account. And right after November 18th, November 19th, the money's going to go down. Oh, hell no. We're talking about right now, at this very instant, you're going to start to save money. You're going to take all these different ways. Oh, and in the description, change. Look up change. Another inventive way, another tool in your toolbox to help you to reach this goal. We cannot go into 2018 well, not at least $1,000 in our account. And another thing is this. This $1,000 is not to be touched during Halloween, Labor Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, none of the above. This $1,000 is meant to be saved up. And look at my high year savings account video and take one of those banks and keep that $1,000 in there and let it make you money. This is all about how money makes money, compound interest and compound dividends. But this is mainly interest when we're talking about savings. This is a challenge. Once again, write it down. November 18th, 2017, to have at least $1,000 in your account. And we're talking about United States dollars, guys. Don't pay me with pesos. Don't pay me with any other type of currency. You need to start today. Secondly, you're like, how am I going to achieve this goal? How am I going to achieve this goal? I have so many bills. I have so many expenses out the yin-yang. First and foremost, stop going to Starbucks. Stop going to Starbucks. Stop going to Seattle's Best. 
Stop going to those little coffee shops. Make your own coffee inside of your home. Oh, you love smoothies. You want a mixture of fresh fruits and greens. Make it at home. Oh, it don't taste the same. Well, steal their recipe. Look it up. Go to Pinterest. There's many options and ways for you to do certain things, but you know what? You don't have the time. You don't have the patience. Or simply, you just don't want to. But you broke. You don't have no money in the bank. You don't have no money in investments. You don't have no money anywhere, save that for your retirement or for your future, let alone for the inheritance for your kids. So these are twos. These are ways that you can get there. And the only true way to get there is to cut back, to lower certain bills and expenses like this. Some people have $200 cell phone bills, $200 cable bills. Do you need the most expensive cable package? Why not basic cable? Okay. Why not basic internet? Oh, because you want this channel and this channel and this channel, but you're broke. You're broke. Yeah. You may be happy and broke sitting at home, but you can't go nowhere. You can't take a trip. You can't even take a two hour trip away because you simply don't have the money. So lower your expenses and cut those expenses that you can cut. There's a lot of people living off of Netflix. Okay. There's a lot of people living off the Walmart basic cell phone plan. Now, if you can afford other cell phone companies and other plans and still do the four tiers of money, then so be it, then do it. But this is a challenge because they keep saying the average American, most Americans, and they're talking about over 70% of people do not have $1,000 saved up. They're talking about nowhere. They're talking about nowhere, no for retirement. And they don't even give an age on it because they're just saying 70% of us out of what? 350, 360 million. So I'm going to quickly go over it again. Now I'm going to end this damn video because you guys need to go and start saving some money. Challenge, November 18, 2017, had at least $1,000 in your savings account and you are not to spend it at all for any reason. Just keep it in your high yield savings account and you can watch the video right here on this channel. Just go back and look for it, okay? Secondly, it must be United States dollars and will not be spent for any holiday that's coming up or there will be. This is not even your emergency cash. This is this cash that you need to have on hand. Take the tips of this video and apply them. And thirdly, look in the description for an app for a way to change your life. It's called Change. Look it up, go on the website, look at the frequently asked questions, and start saving today. This is Ross World, where we no longer have an excuse not to have $1,000, but now we're on the road with many twos in our toolbox to have $1,000. I'm out.